Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On March 2nd, NASA's Acting Administrator Robert Lightfoot spoke at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Aviation Summit in Washington about how the agency's technology advancements have helped transform the aviation industry. Lightfoot was then joined by Canadian Minister of Transport Mark Garneau, who is a former astronaut and Canadian Space Agency President, and Carol Hallett, Counselor to the Chamber, for a discussion with NASA's Shane Kimbrough and Peggy Whitson via satellite from the International Space Station. The two talked about the vast array of research and technology development conducted aboard the station. March 2nd also marked a year since the station's one-year crew returned to Earth. On that date in 2016, Expedition 46 Commander Scott Kelly of NASA and cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko of Roscosmos wrapped up their 340-day mission gathering valuable biomedical data on how the human body is affected by long-duration spaceflight. That data is being used to help formulate a human mission to Mars in the 2030s. IceCube is a NASA small satellite scheduled to launch on orbital ATK's next resupply mission to the International Space Station, which is targeted for no earlier than March 19th. After being deployed from the station, IceCube will use a specially calibrated radiometer to collect cloud ice measurements, which are key variables in weather and climate models. In addition to collecting the first global map of cloud-induced radiances at 883 GHz, the mission seeks to raise the readiness level of the radiometer technology to the highest level currently possible for dependable cloud ice measurements. At NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, engineers recently installed the Propulsion Qualification Module of the Orion spacecraft's European Service Module. The all-steel PQM used to test the propulsion systems on Orion will be equipped with a total of 21 engines, including a Space Shuttle Orbital Maneuvering System engine, 8 auxiliary thrusters, and 12 smaller thrusters. This and other testing of Orion's systems is supporting development of the spacecraft that will carry humans farther into the solar system than ever before. NASA's Office of Small Business Programs recognized its fiscal year 2016 Small Business Industry Award winners February 28th at NASA headquarters. Cepeda Systems and Software Analysis Incorporated, ATEC Incorporated, Jacobs Technology Incorporated, and Teledyne Brown Engineering with the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, won the Small Business Prime Contractor, Small Business Subcontractor, Large Business Prime Contractor, and Mentor Protege Agreement of the Year Awards, respectively. The annual awards are presented to companies for their outstanding support of NASA and its mission. NASA astronaut Stephanie Wilson gave a presentation February 25th at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Stephen F. Udvall Hazy Center just outside Washington as part of the museum's Black History Month program, African American Pioneers in Aviation and Space. Earlier in the month, NASA astronaut Victor Glover also gave a presentation as part of this program at the museum's location in Washington. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov slash talk.